Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of VBC Live Like a Champ. Guess who else is visiting us again today? Honk Solo. Does everybody remember him from yesterday? He was splashing around in his pool. Today he's trying to eat my paper. And the stickers. He really likes the stickers. So take out your yellow labeled bag. Train your heart. We're going to train our heart today by mess making a blessing bag. Today's verse and today's theme is all about love. A champion's love puts others first. Who else in your life do you love that you put first? You have a brother or a sister, a mom, a dad, grandma, grandpa, maybe you have cats and dogs that you put first that you love them so much hopefully you have lots of people in your life that you love and i'm going to read today's verse really quick our verse of the day is first corinthians 13 verses 4 and 5 and guess what it's all about love love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. We want to make sure that we don't keep any records of wrongs either. If somebody hurts us at school or at church, we're going to forgive them and love them anyway. We aren't going to remember and keep track of it because that's not what friends do. So, for loving like a champ today you have you need to pull out your markers we're going to use those if you want you can use your ruler with the shapes stencils and you have two brown paper bags which those are going to be your blessing bags and what a blessing bag is is you can decorate it any way that you want and you have a couple options. You can fill it with something that you like or something you know the person you want to give it to likes and you can surprise them with the blessing bag. If you want your blessing bag to be a mystery or not a mystery but um, for anybody you can put in some stuff that you would use at school. Maybe some markers or some pencils, some band-aids or a little bit of candy. Something that anybody could have. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your bags and you're going to, you can use the stickers too. Make sure you design your stickers. I'm going to use stars on this one. And if you want, you can leave a message on your bag. I'm going to put a message on mine with, I think red. I like red. You are super. And then whoever you're going to give this bag to, maybe they're having a bad day and that's something that will make them feel special. Maybe they'll feel a little bit better about themselves today. If you want, if you aren't sure what to fill with your bag, but you want somebody to have your blessing bag, on the instruction sheet that's the pink outline that says blessing bag and love at the top, on number four, there is an address on where you can send the empty decorated bags to and um, what these people will do is they they put food in them and they send it home to kids who might not have enough food at their houses to eat so if you send them to this address those people will make sure to fill it with food and send it home with some children who don't have enough to eat because not everybody gets to have full cupboards and full bellies all the time. Maybe you've heard of something called food insecurity. Which that means that a family might not have enough food or money to buy food and they only have school lunches or school breakfast where they get their food from. They aren't sure where their dinner might come from or where their weekend food might come from. 
So this program where the address is, they help take care of that food shortage and they take they send them some food to take home so they have full bellies over the weekend. I'm gonna work on my second bag. I'm gonna use some smiley face stickers. And I think I might draw a heart on this one. Because I'm gonna send my bags to that address so that they can be filled with snacks or food for children to take home. And if you want to take a long time and color your bags, you can do that. You can design them however you want to. I'm done coloring. I'll show you. If you remember from yesterday, I've got duck duck goose in here. And outside, I don't know if you can see outside. There's one chicken. Oh, there's another chicken. They're trying to peek in here. They want to see what we're doing too. One of the chickens, one of the chickens is named Winnie. And the other chicken is Wilma. So Winnie and Wilma are peeking. They're trying to see what we're doing in here. Maybe they like to the color too. Do you have chickens or anything in your yard that likes to see what you're doing? Maybe some of you watched the videos I did the last month for the GAP program. I got to show off all of the different birds. Oh, see? Look who wants to try and eat our blessing bag again. He's trying to chew on it so he can figure out how to get closer. But... Honk is still... He's... Well, he's probably a teenager now. He's 11 weeks old, so... It's kind of a baby, kind of not a baby. He grew really big, really fast. He was a little yellow, fluffy baby not that long ago. And the ducks, cheese, and quackers are 13 weeks old. I don't know if you can... Cheese is in the background. He has a green beak. You can't see it, but his feet are yellow. That's why he's named Cheese. And the other one is Quackers. Oh, now you can see when he walks. You can see his feet are yellow. Quackers has black feet. And Hawk is trying to chew on the stand for my phone. Hawk likes to have attention. You can see. I'm using, we're building a new house and I'm using that to color on. So maybe we'll do some blue flowers. What are you drawing on your bag? Maybe send me a picture when you're done with your crafts. We can post it and then I can share to everybody what all your bags look like and you can see how creative everybody's being with their bags. If you want, if you know you're not going to give your bag to a school, you can write the church verse on it. But if you're going to give it to the school, sometimes we can't put church stuff on it because not everybody goes to the same church that we do. So we just keep that in mind. Oops, can't see the center of my flower. If you know ahead of time who you're going to give your bag to, let's put some stars on this one. How about some silver stars? Use up your stars from the sticker sheet. So now it's shiny too. You want to put a message on the back of your bag. This one will do you are my favorite friend. So maybe somebody's having a bad day or think they don't have enough friends. And if you put a little note, that will remind them they've got friends. 
do some more stickers. You can color whatever picture you want. Like we talked about yesterday, God created you and you are unique. So we'll create these bags and our bags are unique. There's no two alike. If you're going to give your bags away or put food in it, you think that makes you a champion in God's eyes? I sure think so because he talked about feeding other people. Jesus talks about helping others a lot and that would certainly help people by giving them food if they had hungry bellies. you can provide somebody else some food that makes you feel really good too because you get to share all of what you have with somebody who don't doesn't have a lot of food maybe so there are our two bags you are super you are my favorite friend that's all for today's blessing bags if you need the address you can send me a message and I'll get it to you if you can't find it on your instruction sheet. And put your markers back in your box. Save your markers. We might be using those another day in any stickers that you have left. And we will use them for tomorrow's or maybe the next day's craft. Have a good day. See you soon.